Hello, I'm Dr. Green, CEO of Preferred Pain Center here in Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona. What I want to talk to you about today is what are the indications for surgery with a lumbar disc herniation or a cervical disc herniation. Either one, the indications are uh, pretty much the same except for one indication that I'll tell you about. The incidence of lumbar disc herniation in this country is 1%, which means that at any one point um, in time, there are quite a few people, over a million, with who are experiencing sciatica from a lumbar disc herniation. So it's very common and it's very painful, potentially. So when do you need surgery? When should you consider surgery? Well, there's only a couple different reasons where surgery is truly indicated. You know, one is the worst case scenario, which is a surgical emergency, and that's a condition called cauda equina syndrome, and that's when the disc herniation is so substantial that it's pushing on the excuse me, the remnant of the spinal cord down around L1 and it affects your bowel and bladder function um, and that you need to get to that within 24 to 48 hours uh, so that you don't risk losing that function for perpetuity. So that's an absolute indication need to have that done. So what would be a um, relative indication? Well, if you have muscular weakness, meaning a foot drop or something that the disc is pushing on the nerve root and causing weakness, well, you can follow that for a certain period of time. And the rule of thumb that some people use is um, 10 to 12 weeks, so upwards of three months. The problem is over that amount of time, if you wait, say, six or nine months, even if a surgery is done technically perfect, it's just not known whether or not that function is going to ever return. Before that time, you know, four, six, eight weeks, then typically, not all the time, but you can be reasonably assured that the muscular function is going to return. So that has a relative indication to it. Another indication is if you're undergoing conservative treatments for over about six to eight weeks and the pain is just not getting better, then surgery has a relative indication. Now, when they looked at studies um, showing, well, how do patients do if they don't have to have surgery, how do they do it one year, surgery versus non-surgery? The answer is the same. Now, surgery allows patients to get out of pain faster, back to work quicker, but by and large, it's the same. So if you can alleviate your pain or keep it at bay or under control so that you can work, play with your kids, uh, and function socially, recreationally, um, and avoid surgery, then you avoid the cost and the potential complications that go along with that potential disc degeneration problems down the road. Um, at Preferred Pain Center, we offer those non-surgical options. Spinal decompression therapy is revolutionary, can be very helpful. Our pain management doctors are board certified, fellowship trained. They can do medication management as well as the interventional injections, epidural steroid injections, uh, whether they're intralaminar, transforaminal, um, as well as the physiotherapy and uh, chiropractic. All those things can help you avoid surgery, continue to enjoy life and work, um, and do the things that you need to do on a daily basis. So if you're experiencing uh, sciatica pain from a herniated disc, please give us a call here in the Phoenix and Scottsdale area, 602-507-6550. Visit us on the web too at www.preferredpaincenter.com and uh, we get patients in very quickly. We take major medical insurance, self-pay, as well as workers' comp and personal injury. Preferred Pain Center, the pain stops here.